Martin swinging ball from Matty. Playing targets in the middle and he sent it deep. Danny Martins gets his head to it and the big man followed it well but couldn't keep his header on onto the target. Daniel got his first goal for the club last week. Could have had a second one there and it was a decent chance for him after a good delivery from Matthew Collins. Ball sent across the right-hand side now. Cumberland right back. Gets away from Matty Collins. Finds his man midfield and it's a strike from a long way out. Took a really awkward bounce on the surface there. Bernie White had to keep an eye on that one. He gets across. Parry it out well for a corner kick there. He's going to keep pushing his man back. Russ McNeil works in his way in really well now. And Russ McNeil could be on goal here in the boxing to get a shot off. Defenders hassled him out well. Does get out of his feet in the end. But straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. But good hassling and running there from Russ McNeil once more. Coming on, moving the ball well now. And then 14's got space at the edge of the box. Gets a shot off and it's into the back of the net there. Bit too much time afforded for the opposition player there, and he caught it well. And so over Bernie White, he was diving. Can get to that one though. And one north from the north. Maybe he'll win it back. Knock it into the water box. Jack McDowell's there. He's definitely offside, and he'll come all the way through to Ross McNeil. Attempt on there. Crack the woodwork, but the flag was up for offside, as I mentioned on Jack McDowell just before anyway. Chilly, chilly day here, and just walking on the park before the game. Quite slippery as well, the frost. It's coming all come down the right-hand side and send across in. Jack, it's eluded Jack Brown, though, and it's run straight through to the back. But the left wing has picked it up. Low cross drilled in. Blair Hill looking to close his man down. Shot comes off. Bernie White makes a great save from close range. Brave to survive that one there. Good chance for coming all to double their lead there. Bernie was down quick. It was in towards his body, which can be awkward for a goalkeeper, of course, when it's that close to him. But he got down quickly, saved it well. This one here, make sure the second goal doesn't come, and it's sent up in towards the deep air at the back post. Header comes off, and wide. Bernie White's goal, plenty of Braves' bodies in there. Make sure they deal with that one comfortably. Please so welcome, bring you commentary of this second half, where we'll hopefully see a goal or two from the Cali Braves. As you say, last time these sides met, we came from a goal down to win it, so plenty of hope, and Cameron Brenner does get a shot off at the edge of the box there. He was stretching to get onto it and got a decent connection on and straight down the throat of the goalkeeper though. But a decent chance for the Braves here. About 55 minutes played. Blair Hill's man to do that. Into Matty Collins. Sends it in behind now. One for Ross McNeil to chase. Gets a touch onto it. Rounds the keeper. Ross McNeil shoots. And the defender gets a foot onto it. Massive chance of Ross McNeil there. After some really good play from the Braves players in midfield. Win the ball back and McNeil did everything right there. Just couldn't quite get the finish and some really good last ditch defending from the defender there to put it out for a corner, but dangerous from the Braves. Hill picks it up. Flip sheet. Just basically gets off and it's a fantastic strike from Blair. Just wide of the, of the goal there. Power pass. We're getting to the last 10 minutes here. Not too much longer to go for the Braves. They want to get a goal here as a cross does come in and shot is fired off low and it deflects the man. And it's in for Cumberland's second goal. Cumberland surely put this one to bed here and Braves just not able to get the ball away and clear there and low cross was drilled in. Midfielder, difficult one thing to deal with on that occasion. Comes in, Bernie White blocks it at close range and pulls it in to his body, but the full time whistle is now blown here at Broadwood. That's a 2 0 win for Cumberland Colts. Thank you.